The module you're watching now is about hints for reading certification exam questions, specifically reading the stem of the question. This is a pretty basic concept, but I hope that it's one that will make a difference for you as you take the exam. So you're going to notice that when you see your question on the exam, you're going to have what we call the stem of the question. That's the question itself, as well as the four choices, sometimes known as the correct answer and the distractors. My recommendation to you is that you read the stem of the question. That's the actual question itself, but don't read the four choices. Instead, what you should do is read the stem, look away from the screen, formulate in your mind what you think the answer is before reading the choices. So in your mind, figure out what you think the choice is, and then when you think you know it, then look at the four choices, and hopefully, one of the choices that's in your mind is one of the choices that's on the exam. So let's look at a sample question. Inability to take a deep breath when palpating under the right costal margin should raise the index of suspicion for which of the following disorders? Okay, now notice I haven't given you the choices here. I don't even give you the four. I'm gonna say inability to take a deep breath when palpating on the right costal margin. So I'm gonna think about that right costal margin, what's there, uh, something liver, gallbladder, maybe lung. So I'm gonna look for an answer that has one of those three, right? So let's look at the four choices. Here they are. A, cholecystitis, B, ruptured gastric ulcer, C, Borjavi syndrome, D, ruptured duodenal ulcer. Hmm. So of the three choices I had, liver, gallbladder, lung, the only one that's there is A, cholecystitis. I'm gonna go with cholecystitis. If you went with cholecystitis, guess what? You got the answer correct. So always read the question first, don't read the choices, look away from the screen, formulate in your mind what you think the correct answer is and then go looking for it and that way any of the wrong answers or distractors are less likely to distract you and I think you'll find you'll do better on these exams.